welcome back everyone now majority of us are using the gmail account for sending and receiving the email and gmail has changed a lot and by 2024 there are many useful features added in gmail which you must know in order to increase the productivity and take the proper use of gmail account so without any delay let's quickly get started So the very first step is sending the email with the passcode. Now there can be some confidential message or information that you want to email to someone but you want to make it more secure so no one else can view it and in such cases you can apply the passcode using the gmail feature. Very simple. The next time when you try to send any email confidential you have to go to compose email. Type the email address whom you want to send an email. Type your subject and type whatever you want to all right so let's say that this is my uh, confidential message that i want to send and i want that this viewer can only view it using the passcode nobody else now the moment you type probably the chances are at the bottom you will find a new option that says try confidential mode to help you keep your information safe and you will see a lock icon here simply you will have to click on it and it will give you another pop-up of confidential mode and it says at expiration so either you can select for one day one week depending that how soon the recipient will receive it i will go with one week then it says all passcode will be generated by google select sms passcode then click on save and you will be notified here that content expire on june 2nd 2024 recipient won't have the option to forward copy print or download this email all right so this is useful because if he would be able to forward it or copy it there is no use of keeping it confidential all right so now next time when you click on send it will ask you for a phone number and it says the phone number is required so recipient can verify their identity using an sms passcode so now here either you can put the phone number of your own self or you can type the recipient phone number let me show you if i type my own number and then if i click on send now if i go back to the recipient email and you can see that i got an email now and if i bring it up it says frozen q has sent you an email via gmail confidential mood so in order to view the email i have to click on it so now you can see that it redirect me to a new page and it says to view this email you must first confirm your identity a one-time passcode will be sent to this number now this number will be the same number that you have entered while sending the email all right so send passcode and now this number will be receiving that particular passcode so this number can be of your own self or the recipient number now ask them to enter the passcode which has been received and once i type the same passcode and click on submit so now i am able to view this message after entering the passcode so this is the confidential way to sending any kind of email so that nobody can open it view it until and unless they enter any kind of passcode or sms code that has been sent to their phone number okay now let's move with the next step that is schedule email so there comes a time when you want to send an email on any specific date or time like you can draft the email and schedule it now so that it can be automatically sent on that particular date or time now this can be really useful for you if you are going for any kind of vacation if you are traveling and right now you have the time so you can draft the email now and schedule it for tomorrow or day after tomorrow whenever you want to send it so let me show you if you click on compose again type the email the subject that you want to keep now this time we type any message so for example i have taken this message now after typing it you don't want to send it now and you want to schedule it now instead of clicking on send on the right of it you will find a drop down that says more send option so you will have to click on it then it says schedule send again click on it now it will give you some kind of option like this morning this afternoon or monday morning that will be your next date so if you want to pick any of them then you can pick it but if you have any other date and time then you can click on pick date and time and choose your desired date and time whenever you want to schedule this email so let's say i want to send it on day after tomorrow so i will select 28 then i have to choose the time so i'll make it to around 9 and then i can click on schedule send so now what will happen i have drafted the email 
Now this email will be automatically sent day after tomorrow at that particular time. All right, so now let's move with the third tip that is undo email. Now we all make some mistake, especially when you are in a hurry. Same here on Gmail. Many times you send an email with the incorrect information or made some kind of a spelling mistake or you have sent an email to some wrong recipient. So by default, you get five seconds of undo time, which is not enough for each and every one. But fortunately, there is a setting in the Gmail from where you can increase the time of undo. So for that, you have to click on the setting icon at the right in top. Click on see all settings. And here in the general section only, you get undo send option. So by default, you can see it says send cancellation period 5 seconds. And you can increase it to maximum of 30 seconds. Then you have to scroll down and click on save changes. So now the next time when you compose any kind of email, let me show you. Okay, so for example, I have to send this email and I made some mistake. Now if I click on send, now on the left hand side, you can see an option that says message send, undo. Alright, so what happened? Till the moment you realize you have made some mistake, the 5 second is over. But now as you have extended the time duration, it will be displayed till 30 seconds. Alright, so now still you can see it is appearing on the left hand corner and I can simply click on undo. And now it will be loading back and give me the same compose message screen. The only drawback is that it will be sending the email after 30 seconds. But yes, at least you will be having a chance to correct your mistake. Okay, so hopefully you will enjoy this tip as well. And now let's move with the fourth trick that is enabling the reading panel. So basically when you receive any email, you click on the email, you read it. And in order to view the another email, again, you have to go back. Again, click on that particular email. So this take a long time in order to view each and every email. But what you can do here, again, you can click on the setting gear icon. Click on see all settings. From the top menu option, you will have to click on inbox. And here you find an option of reading pan. So just enable this option. Then it says reading pan position. So keep it to right of inbox. That will be more uh, perfect. Then you have to click on save changes. Now the next time you will find the reading pan on the right hand side and if you want to drag on the right you can adjust the position so now what will happen you don't have to open any email simply click on it and the preview will be coming on the right hand side and from here only you can easily read your email similarly click on another email and you can quickly view all the email by just making one click only all right so this will be really helping you in the productivity and quickly uh, viewing all kind of your email okay and now let's move with the last tip that is following up your email efficiently now following up your conversation is crucial to ensure that you are communicating effectively with the recipient but sometime you might miss sending out follow-up email or simply forget about the email you sent that never got a response but thankfully gmail offer you some inbuilt feature to help you keep track of your email for which you have to click on settings click on see all settings and here in the general option only you have to scroll down and you will be getting an option of nudges so you have to make sure that these both options are being checked suggest email to reply to you suggest email to follow up on sent email you might need to follow up on will appear at the top of your inbox so what will happen this email will be appearing at the top so you can quickly view it and you can reply them back so these were the five best Gmail tips and tricks that you should know in 2024 to increase the productivity and become a pro user. And hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.